Hey y'all, for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a killer thumbnail in less than five minutes using Photoshop. We're replacing this travel ASMR thumbnail because the first one wasn't all that great. I went through some of our travel photos and ultimately decided on this one from the Middle Rhine on our Viking cruise. First things first, duplicate the layer so you have two identical layers. Then go ahead and hide the bottom layer because we're gonna work with the top layer first. I'm gonna grab the eraser tool and erase the sky behind the mountain and castles. I'm not going to be too precise because once we show that bottom layer, it won't be a big deal. So I'm just going to go and take it and do a rough erasing of the sky. Down closer to the castle, I'm going to do some minor detail work just to make sure I've gotten most of that sky out of the photo. Once that's done, I'm going to unhide the bottom layer so I can see my beautiful sky again. Right now, this might seem super weird and pointless, but just hang with me. Now I'm going to grab my text tool. It's already set on my default font of Ubuntu, but this isn't the font you have to use. I will link it in the description box just in case you want to try it, but whatever font you choose, just make sure it's bold and easy to read. Once you've typed out your title, make sure it's positioned in between the layers. This makes your thumbnail multidimensional, so the type is coming out of the mountain instead of just sitting on top. This same principle works with other objects as well. Here are some examples from our other videos. Now the video that we're making a thumbnail for is a travel ASMR video. It's just some beautiful travel footage with some nice relaxing music. But the more I played with the words travel ASMR, the more I didn't like the way it was going. So I switched gears and made the title a little bit longer. It seemed to fit better on the image. Once I have the type placed, I'm going to select a color from the image. This time I chose blue and I'm going to use my brush tool on a soft rounded brush with about 40 to 50% opacity. I'm just going to use this to make a soft background behind the text so it's easier to read. Choosing a color that's already in your image, like the blue I chose here, just makes it less obtrusive to the photo and makes everything blend together. And that's your finished thumbnail. Once I dropped this into YouTube, I noticed it wasn't sized properly. There were some black bars visible on the top and bottom. You could leave these, or you can just drop your photo into Canva and resize it in one click so it looks proportioned on YouTube. It's that easy. You just made a professional looking thumbnail in less than five minutes. If this video helped you out in any way, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks y'all!